So good morning class. I am teacher Ashton and welcome to our PE class. For today, we are going to start with the first unit of your module, which all about lifestyle and weight management. But before our discussion, let's have a short activity. So in these slides, there are six boxes and each box there are sentences. So bawat kahon ay may mga pangungusap na naglalarawan kung paano ang pamumuhay ng isang tao. So basahin mabuti at isipin kung anong kahon ang naglalaman ng mga pangungusap na malapit sa uri ng iyong pamumuhay. So all right. Have you chosen already? Now let's see what type of person you are depending on the box that you have chosen. If you have chosen box A, you already the crammer. Ikaw yung lagi nagmamadali kasi minsan hindi mo agad inuumpisahan yung mga dapat mong gawin kahit may sapat ka namang oras. So, if you have chosen box B, you are called the nomad. Ikaw yung hindi mapakali sa bahay. Gusto mo lagi kang may pupuntahan kapag may free time ka. Gusto mo laging mamasyal. If you chosen box C, you are called the fitness focus. So, ikaw yung kahit saan mag exercise ka. Hindi ka kumakain ng mga nakakadabang pagkain. You are very conscious with your body. So if you have chosen box D, you are called the tech savvy. So ikaw naman yung kahit saan mapunta ay puro gadget ang inaatupag. At walang bukang bibig kung hindi gadget. So, if you have chosen box E, you are called the socialist. Ikaw naman yung kayang-kayang makipagsabayan kahit bagong kakilala mo pa lang ang mga tao sa paligid mo. You are very friendly. So, mahilig ka din sa social media. So, mga ganong bagay. Mahilig ka makipag-friends talaga. Yung mga kala mo, bagong kakilala mo pa lang pero kala mo close na kayo mga ganong. So if you, ito naman, yung lastly, if you have chosen box F, you are called the roadless traveler. Ikaw naman yung di masyadong mahilig sumabay sa uso. Mas gusto mo pang mag-focus sa mga bagay na gusto mo lang gawin. So these are what we call the six peculiar lifestyle. Pwedeng isa ka sa mga ito o kombinasyon ng ilan sa mga ito. Since we are talking already about lifestyle, let's start now with our lesson. Today, we are going to discuss lesson 1, leading an active lifestyle. So let's define first what lifestyle is. So, I want you to read the meaning of lifestyle with me. So, lifestyle is the way of living of an individual, a group of people, or a nation. It reflects the interests, hobbies, opinions, behaviors, aspirations, and conventions of a person. So, mula noong bata tayo, ay namulat tayo sa uri ng pamumuhay ng ating mga pamilya. Maaring ito ay maging pattern natin noong tayo ay bata pa. It's because sometimes our interests and hobbies are influenced by our families. So, halimbawa, kung ang pamilya mo ay mahilig sa music, maaring uh, mahiligan mo rin ito sa iyong sarili. So, our lifestyle develop as days pass. It can stay the same or it may change over time. 
So our lifestyle is affected by the different factors. So let's discuss them one by one. So number one is yan, demography. This refers to the community you belong. So nakadepende yung paraan ng pamumuhay mo sa nakikita mo sa paligid mo. So iba ang pamumuhay ng tao sa probinsya at iba rin yung pamumuhay ng tao sa syudad. So number two is technology. So technology and media culture, may mga taong madaling maimpluwensyahan ng media at ng kung ano ang mga bago. So we can be affected what is new. So number three is yan, anticipation of the future. Our perspective of our future can affect us greatly. So halimbawa, sa pamilya mo ay may normal na pagkakasakit ng diabetes. Ikaw, bilang ayaw mong mangyari sa'yo yun, babaguhin mo ngayon yung lifestyle mo para sa future, hindi ka magkakaroon ng parehong sakit. So number four, yan, social class. Ang pamumuhay natin ay apektado din sa label ng ating pamumuhay. Siyempre, kung tayo ay maswerteng pinanganak ng may marangyang pamilya o marangyang buhay, ay maaaring ang lifestyle natin ay medyo magastos. Pero siyempre, uh, hindi naman lahat ay ganoon. So number five, yan, gender. Our gender play a big role how we act and live. So, boys tend to have more act, uh, active lifestyle than girls. So, number six is education. This one is very important. Some people are educated, but they don't act like one. So, sa paraan ng pagsasalita at pagkilos, makikita mo kung gaano kataas ang pinag-aralan ng isang tao. So number seven is age. Of course, syempre, when we, are, when we were kids, our lifestyle is very much different for we used to be so play, uh, playful unlike now. So now you are more matured. So, number eight, access to options, services, and goods. Sometimes, our lifestyle is dictated by what we have in our surroundings. If there are no available goods and services, we become more resourceful. Number nine, yan, nationality. It is very obvious because... Uh, every nationality has its own culture and tradition. This affects our way of living. Now, let's talk about how to manage our lifestyle. So, lifestyle management refers to the way that a person structures his or her life. So, it means getting to know yourself better to make adjustment and discover what you really want to do. So, it is exploring or exploring one's interest, hobby, and aspirations. So, good lifestyle management leads to a healthier body. Para magkaroon tayo ng malusog na pamumuhay, dapat natin ikilos ang ating katawan at gumalaw ng iba't ibang gawain. So, physical activities includes daily activities, recreational activities, exercise, and sports. So, walking and using the stairs, gardening, and doing household chores. So, next one is recreational activities, fishing, Swimming, 
horseback riding, playing with children, and dancing. So exercises, aerobics, flexibility exercises, cardiovascular and muscular endurance exercises. So sports, team sports, dual sports. So let's move on to the benefits of an active lifestyle. So there are many good things that can come if we live in active and healthy lifestyle. So we can look good because we exercise and we eat healthy. We also feel good since our body is in a good condition. We also feel and look healthy. We can better enjoy life because we don't have any sickness which can prevent us from doing many things that we want to do. So we will have better mental alertness. We will be able to think more and focus more. And also, we can meet our social responsibilities because we can interact well with other people. So now, how do we plan for an active lifestyle? So we have to consider these things. So physical readiness. So readiness for extreme environmental condition wardrobe readiness and readiness for commitment and planning let's discuss them one by one so physical readiness refers to the readiness of our body so tanungin mo kung handa na ba ang iyong katawan may sakit ka ba o may condition ka na may limitasyon lamang ang kaya mong gawin so, kailangan ng payo ng iyong doktor. Meron o wala ka mang sakit upang makasigurado sa iyong kaligtasan. So, you must be aware of any allergy because you might be eating high fiber and low fat foods. So, readiness for extreme environmental condition. So, this talks about the environment where you're performing physical activities. Here in our country, we only have wet and dry season. So, it is better to be familiar with the weather to make a better plan. So, handa ka ba sa iba't ibang kondisyon ng paligid? Kaya mo ba ang init o lamig? So, these are some suggestions. So, Get to know the best time to exercise during different season. So exercise during the coolest time, 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., 6 p.m. onwards. Always begin gradually when exercising. Drink a lot of water. Rest frequently. And lastly, cool down when the body is already experiencing heat. So wardrobe readiness is about the usage of proper attire while doing physical activities. So may mga damit ka bang naayon sa napili mong gawin? Komportable ka ba sa iyong susuotin? So these are some suggestions on the attire that we should choose in when we are doing exercises. So, wear proper attire when engaging in physical activities to prevent injuries. Always choose comfortable clothing. Wash workout clothes immediately after using them. Wear extra clothing, jacket, shirt, or cycling short when exercising outdoors. Always wear socks. Always choose sport shoes when exercising. 
So readiness for commitment and planning is about being committed once you decide to have an active lifestyle. So your commitment will affect how effective your plan will be and if you're going to succeed. So handa ka bang gawin ito hindi lamang ngayon o baka naman sa umpisa mo lang gagawin. So here are some ways on how to plan an active lifestyle. So an active lifestyle also requires mind readiness to plan and stay committed. So collect and research about different facts and information. So get goals, specific, measure, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. So structure your own program and evaluate the result. So, sana ay naintindihan nyo ang ating talakayan at nakakuha kayo ng uh, kapakipakinabang na aral. Again, this is Teacher Ashton. See you next time. Goodbye and God bless.